Hey guys, people ask me to do more sharpening videos, so that's what I'm going to do. I uh, just tested the 20CP Para 2, uh, so I'm going to resharpen it. <clears throat> I was just going to put a micro bevel on it with a sharp maker, but I want a little different geometry, so I'm going to do it on the Edge Pro. Um, I'm using masking tape to tape the blade up. I found this works better than blue painter's tape uh, because mainly it keeps its integrity when it's wet. Blue painter's tape will lose all of its uh, adhesive qualities when it's wet and masking tape seems to to keep that. So that's uh, good for me. I want something that's going to stick, especially when I'm doing customer knives because I don't want to scratch uh, a knife of my customers, pretty much. Already marked the edge with Sharpie. I want a 36 degree edge, so I'm going to go to the green setting on the Edge Pro, which is right there. And I'm using the, the drill collar, so I don't need to, to mess with that yet. I need to go ahead and set my bevel with the, the first stone before I mess with that. Uh, I have this set up in an awkward way, so I'm going to have to be doing this in a, in a really constricted fashion that I don't normally do it in, so I apologize. Uh, especially if I block the camera, which I'm going to try not to do. But I can't always be certain that you can see. I think you can see it like this. So I'm just going to go ahead and set my bevel with a 120 grit uh, Edge Pro Stone. I am uh, resting the edge on the Ricasso. Actually I changed my mind. I'm going to go with a 30 degree edge. I want maximum cutting performance. So that's 15 degree per side. I'm going to go ahead and grind the new bevel on. Just trying to set the new bevel. Grind all the Sharpie off. As well as get all the way to the apex of the edge. Which can take a while on these really high carbide steels. It can take a, a good, good long time. I think we may be getting close though. Yep. I think we're ready to flip to the other side. I want to clean the stone of any swarf that it has on it because that is the stuff that's gonna gonna scratch the edge. Gonna re-wet the stone. Doesn't take a lot. I'm going to grind the bevel on this side. And this is the step in which you will fix any damage that may be in the edge. This is also the step that you will even up the edge if, uh, if you have an off-center edge this is the time that you you want to fix it I'm doing this a lot faster and a lot more careless uh, than I do with customer knives because I just don't have a lot of time so So, 
that's why my methods look kind of crude. It's because I don't have any time. Um, I normally spend hours on a knife if I want it perfect. Which a lot of customer knives do take that amount of time. Alright, now here is where, here is where we, we compensate for stone thickness. We're going to take our drill collar, we're going to break the bond, it was tight, and we are going to essentially wedge the stone in between the angle arm and the drill collar and tighten it down. Now our our angle is not set by the angle arm, it's set by the drill collar. Regardless of what we set this at, this setting is essentially now this setting, except this is going to adjust for stone thickness where this would stay constant without the drill collar. Uh, if that stayed constant, then we would have all kind of different edge angles if we didn't adjust for thickness, which that stone is much thinner than this. So this is gonna essentially block some of the red uh, because it's a thicker stone. But I'll show you that this stone is going to match the bevel that I ground onto this knife perfectly. And I'll show you that by just marking the edge with Sharpie. Okay, you see that the edge is completely covered with Sharpie, completely. Okay, I'm going to just rub the Sharpie off. And you see that the angle matches my angle perfectly. It has rubbed 100% of the Sharpie off from the top to the bottom, and that's what we want. That means that we are matching uh, the bevel that we ground onto the knife perfectly. The Edge Pro has never been more accurate than it is now with a drill stop collar. The first stone is what took all the time. Uh, subsequent stones are very fast. And we're essentially done on the 600 grit stone. I could stop here and that's a really sharp edge, but I want something even sharper. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump from 6K to two, I mean 600 to 2K. And again, I'm gonna adjust adjust our angle. You see that covered up even more of the red because the 600 grit stone has worn a little bit and the 2K grit stone has essentially been unused. So it's going to match our angle perfectly, which it is. I apologize if I'm covering up the camera. Hopefully I'm not. I'm trying to give you a perspective uh, as if you're looking over my shoulder while I'm doing this. So, I'm hoping I'm accomplishing that. I'm going to raise this up a little bit. My angle has changed a little bit, and I think it's this tape. It's moving around on the on the table because it's not sticking anymore, as you can see. Any anything that is in between the blade and the table, if it moves, it'll change your angle. And just 
literally minute, the most minute change in angle will will have a detrimental effect on your edge. It'll keep you from getting a hair whittling edge. So you have to really, really, really watch all of the variables. Okay. I think we're gonna jump from 10 or 3K, 2K. Sorry, I apologize. From 2K straight to 10K. And then I'm going to call it and be done with it. I'm going to take this tape away because it's moving and I'm going to adjust the angle. Raise it up just a bit. I have to adjust for that tape being gone. That's not something you would normally have to do. It's just I'm um, sharpening on the fly and uh, I can't start over just because the tape is removed now. I'm hoping you can see everything I'm doing. I'm using extremely light pressure, uh, pretty much as light as possible. Just letting the stone do the work. Just about done. These alternating strokes that I was just doing is where a lot of your sharpness comes from. That's like stropping the edge essentially with a stone. You're just making very, very light alternating strokes and you're just lining up the, the irregularities in the edge. Very important if you want super sharp edges and that goes for anything freehand sharpening uh, wicked edge edge pro when you're on your finishing grits alternating strokes are super important what I'm doing now is just ripping the tape off and then I'm gonna clean clean the blade up and uh, show you the edge not the prettiest edge I've ever gotten because I'm going quick but it's it's sufficient as you can see it's uh, very reflective very pretty most of all it's very sharp It could use to be cleaned up a little bit, but uh, just a little bit of strop would clean any residual burr off and get it that next level of sharpness. That's why stropping is so important. But there you go. They're sharpening on the edge pro. I was just going to make it a quick touch up video, but it turned into a full sharpening from setting the bevel to, to polishing it up. So. There you go, guys. Quick and dirty. This isn't the method I use for uh, for customers. I take a lot more time than this. And their results are a lot better than mine. I just can't stand taking that much time on my own knives. So, Anyway, there you go. There's your sharpening vid. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.